This are conference few will now be recorded. So there are a few simple things uh, before going towards the lecture. I want to discuss with you all of you people, uh, those who are listening and uh, already know what the cyber security is. So since we are actually in, in uh, most preciously, we are learning the Python and most of the people already know the cyber stuff actually. So uh, what I'm going to discuss uh, just uh, as soon as Apas come, I will I will totally switch the situation actually, right? So what I'm just giving you today's uh, idea, what I am going to uh, deliver you today, and today class will be nearly uh, more than two hour. Keep in mind and hold your horses, all of you people. And uh, today we are going to learn a lot of things, and uh, not even a lot of things. We will run the code, and we'll see the code how Python code will run and how what are the Python codes and how they will work. So uh, before uh, going towards the code, we should install some engines where code will run. And I will introduce you to those engines. Engine means ID integrated development environment. And I will take you up from the very basic of the programming language and what is the language and what are the basics uh, of the any language and how they work and I will uh, de briefly demonstrate you why the Python is most powerful language in all over uh, the world actually 99.9% .9 and demonstrate you and uh, the our and I also uh, demonstrate or show you or maybe present you the collective working uh, that what are the modules and what we are going to learn in our modules and on those modules what kind of code we are doing to code actually the programming we do as we know the programming languages and how they work on so uh, this is our today's whole you may say our agenda today so uh, there are a few questions i want to ask you people in a very simple way that appa is here now i think Asim is one another right okay i just thought appa is here okay uh, how many of you uh, have the basic or the zero understanding of the programming language or they have never seen the Python language and they are working on just say yes no and so I should know since we are here resolving the people situations and what they are so my question is simple have you people know the Python programming language or any language just type it yes no if you know or have everybody uh, done any any code stuff they build or run something so so nobody yes learn Python Amir good C++ I have enough understanding we'll see I have knowledge of the programming I did a course in 1998 in C++ okay way way back in 1998 I might be at that time you will be 18 or 19 years of age right good one was you have done enough understanding okay good one Alam only C plus and what about the armor? Yes, learn quick about and Alam. Alam, did you have any idea regarding just SQL? Okay, Apas is still not here. Uh, we should wait for him. Okay, today the whole section M A has arrived. I hope Apas is arrived. Uh, who is M A? Sorry, who is Emmy here? Appas is here now. Okay, done. Okay. So Appas, can you hear me clearly? Yes. Okay, okay. So before you arriving here, uh, I have given a two minute lecture that what we are going to do and what we are uh, going to learn today. And hopefully from now on, uh, we will do exactly uh, as we have planned actually. So just uh, two minutes before I have told all of the people or I have asked all of the people that what they or are these people have any programming skill uh, or any knowledge uh, they did work before any programming. So people did mention to me that some people know C++, some have learned the Python, some have the enough understanding how they work on and uh, i have the knowledge in the c plus plus okay uh, there are a few questions with from the armor and the machine first armor so you learn the pattern until till, till uh, which uh, platform you uh, 
uh, bring you up. So what kind of ID did you use, Ahmed? Can you can you type or can you tell me? Ahmed, can you hear me? Programming for Raspberry Pi, just Raspberry Pi with with Python. So you have the enough understanding of the basic input and output system of the programming language, right? Yes, good one. Okay, yes, Wasim. So uh, till how much understanding you have built up? I think you have had enough of the Ansible also, right? Right? Yes, Wasim. Okay, good one. So okay. Uh, uh, and what about the upper you have you ever had any any experience regarding the programming language can you type it yes no have you ever had any experience upas can you hear me kindly be quick please on the responses i have a bit experience yeah. okay. yes yes okay bit experience okay uh what is today's agenda and one more thing Apas, uh, today's class will be more than two hours right it could be possible it would be a, a more than two hours but definitely i'll try to make it a two hour class today why because i need to cover uh, a step-by-step -step process or okay what what are the step-by-step -step process let me go to my notepad as as usual i, I deliver things in the notepad so uh, in the in, in a step-by-step -step process uh, we have actually uh, understanding of uh, the coding and the modules actually the modules that we are going to going to learn and code actually and what are the modules or what are the, our objectives we have already defined and those objectives are here actually uh, in, in in this remember that we have the mac address changer the path on basic right and then we have another uh, and then we have another uh, one second let me make it the maximize programming for the network scanner right so this will be again uh, a brief introduction about the scanning and how they will work and then we'll write code on it uh, code on Python actually how the things work actually now we have an ARP spoofer then first we learn the ARP spoofer and then we'll uh, understand the programming and then we will write the code how to spoof our app our address resolution protocol the first we should know what is the packet sniffer as we already know as a network engineer uh, how many of you work on wireshark as a network engineer just say yes if somebody did work on the wireshark and please quick 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 answer because no time i have to deliver a lot of stuff today in terms of the programming yes not in detail okay uh have every rizwan said no on the wire shock okay have everybody did profiling in the wire shock like source or destination packet capturing no okay uh, a packet sniffer means we will write a code that will sniff the packet okay definitely we will use a scappy scappy as a python and scappy is a tool that used inside the kali linux and that doesn't mean that if any code that you use in the kali linux you cannot use in any linux keep in mind whatever the whatever the tool inside the kali linux you can use in yabuntu you can use in linux mint you can use in uh, in, in any linux whatever you think you can do with it right okay so i'm briefing you uh, the modules that we will uh, understand and we will work on the packet sniffer and what are the packet sniffer we will uh, sniff the packet and uh, in the packet will come okay in the LAN card there are two modes the normal modes and the promiscuous mode to sniff the all the packets your LAN card should be converted into promiscuous modes right so this is the next stuff dns spoofer okay what is the dns spoofer it's a simple introduction uh, whenever you request okay uh, everybody knows that you have a ip uh, that release from the DSCP server and then you have a DNS server. Uh, the DNS server is normally uh, requested from the uh, gateway actually. So uh, DNS server, why we why we need a DNS server, okay, or DNS spoofer. Remember when you try to type a yahoo.com or facebook.com, it normally resolves the DNS to, to a DNS server. So when you try to spoof somebody's HTTP request in terms of Facebook, then you can hijack its user ID and password very easily. Remember? So by cap by using the DNS spoofer, 
by cap capturing the packet mean it means every another every another module is depending upon previous module as you grow you will understand how things are working and how you can grow and how you can hack the things hacking means you need to scan it and understand it and realize the packet right so this is what i am demonstrating you the uh, only the modules that we are working on and keep in mind every module has a python code that i will going to show you at the end of the class right but in between the class uh, okay uh, I, let, let's move on another then i'll let you know then web server hacking okay how many of you know uh, the http traffic the request and the response just say yes no be very fast or http protocol okay how many of you did the pure packet filtering on Apollo or or any firewall Amit said no Vaseem said yes okay which firewall did you use Vaseem 14 ad Palo Alto Juniper uh, Palo Alto good one uh, Appa say yes uh, Appa which firewall did you use Cisco ASA good one so you Cisco ASA is is old stuff right it's not a next gen you can you cannot sniff the packet in an application layer okay cisco is a next gen okay okay so in a next gen you can sniff the packet in the application layer have you everybody heard the eight layer firewall seven layer firewall is exist but have you everybody heard anybody heard the eight layer firewall no upper said no Masim said no <laughs> okay go check cyber room go cyber r o a o m cyber room declared themselves as the eight layer firewall right and you will be amazed at what is the eight layer okay let, let's move on uh we don't stick ourselves into firewalls we should stick to ourselves in agendas okay what is a web server injection bypassing oh, okay it, if you know very well web server how they communicate and how they come and go then you can understand the web server hacking but there is one glitch here before understanding the web server hacking you people have to go a very very good uh, or very much uh, understanding deep understanding or you may say in very negative terms in a very painful way of understanding the web server crackings because if you don't know the javascript if you don't know the http request how they come in and come out then you cannot understand uh, the http response so uh, uh, we'll move on to this one so uh, then if you if you know the web server working and uh, how they response and response out then you can cross side script attack on it then you can find the vulnerability okay keep in one more thing you must install OWASP, Open Web Application Security Protocol. Everybody should learn this thing by themselves. It is an open standard of web injection and web penetration. Simple uh, tool or simple process, B-Box. Uh, I, mean, I don't know B-Box, what it is. There, there are things that sometimes I don't know. Linux version, okay. And what, what would happen with that version? Kindly type quickly, please. Contains web. Yes, yes. It's open one. You can have all of them. It's already on the internet. Everybody can do can can uh, can have OS actually. Okay. Now server bypassing and injection. This is another tough stuff to understand. And then another we have basic advanced level of the execution. Okay. So every everything that I have here that i'm trying to mention you have a python code actually okay so uh, that means that means that my point of sharing you means that everybody everybody here know the basics of networking right basics of networking right that means everybody know the source and the destination ip addresses ip addresses right so th that means i do not need to show how things route how a network behave right that i do not need to tell you all of you people right so what i'm going to tell you directly directly what is our purpose of uh, of here is is 90 percent is based upon is python coding 
I hope everybody would agree on that. So when you when you know the Python coding and and how to code it and how to run it, then it's easy to understand everybody that how things work. Now there is an there is another way around. If you know how things work, then you can code, or you can code, and then it's deeply you can you can understand how things work. I think th this is the better way, right? I think this is the first one, and this is the second one. Who agree with first one, and who agree with the second one? Just say one, two. <laughs> I will say both. No need to be diplomatic. Kindly say it straight. Either the one or the two, because I don't have the time for that. Okay, how things work? That is good. That is upper say what? Okay, okay, okay. Then I, look, uh, if I try to tell you that how things work. And then I code, then it will be a waste of the time, my dears. No, 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 no. This will be a waste of time. I will directly teach you how to code and then, okay, okay. Let me demonstrate you one more thing. As you say, all of you people that uh, first understand and then code, right? That's what you say. Let me take you one more thing. Suppose I have one more injured here. Okay. Everybody can see my screen, right? I need to one second. I need to increase the phone size. One second. Let me increase the phone size. Okay. Now everybody can see my screen phone size. One second. Control shift plus plus control on. We are six phone sets, should you mind? Let's see. Okay, I'm not going to waste my time here on the phone actually. Okay, uh, whatever the modules that we are going to learn and whatever the modules we have, either the 18 modules or the 20 modules, we have already worked code and it's working in a best format right so if i want to uh, spoof the dns so i have the code and it work on suppose i want to speak the google.com bing.com or the facebook.com i can directly work on it and i have the code here and i can spoof your internet by running this code so as you as you said to me that that you do understand the spoofing or all these things then i have all the collection of the codes but how, can anybody understand the scripting that i have in front of me uh, might be people will say 50 percent or 20 percent or 30 percent i might say yes wasim said yes wasim said no okay what if i say that i have a network scanner here Can anybody under, can anybody understand me? What is what is Scapy and Arp doing here? No. If somebody say yes or no, that 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 means that is 50-50. Right. So whatever our purpose of understanding or development here is actually before going inside directly jump into the code, you should know how we need to code and what are the engines that we are need to code. Am I right or wrong? It means our target is our target is first neither the one nor the two what are the basic basic to code and we will go from basic to advanced in in very few time in 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 a, in a few minutes or might be in a few days right so basic to code so all of you people have you ever installed anaconda how many have you installed anaconda or pycharm or uh, spider everybody knows wasim papa said no amir said yes amir said no wasim did you install the pie charm or the what 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 anaconda or what yes anaconda ala alam said no anaconda okay done just anaconda not the pie charm or the spider okay first of all okay okay first of all will will install all of you need to install anaconda 
okay what is the anaconda go to website this is for those who don't know www.google.com right those who don't know i am telling them actually anaconda and this is the green icon here you can download and install here this is the anaconda website download and install anaconda yes i have a pie charm okay 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 one more thing i will code on on two or three environments at the same time i will code in anaconda i will run code on uh, spider and i will run code on pie charm okay when do i run the code on anaconda and when do i run the code on pie charm and when do i run the code on uh, uh, spider you will definitely know very easily and you will understand uh, might be in a two or three day all right so uh up us or everybody if they don't have the anaconda in their machine they have to install the anaconda and in, the, in their machine right okay when you install the anaconda right then on windows key you type the anaconda this anaconda navigator then this by running this anaconda navigator you will have this anaconda screen here as you can see in front of you everybody can see my screen okay so this is the anaconda and the from anaconda you have to launch jupiter and this jupiter will give you let me let me launch a jupiter from here notebook and a spider is already running here this is my spider is already running here right this is my spider okay my so, sometime anaconda when don't work just close it simply just close the spider no need to worry just type the anaconda as anaconda navigator you have to wait patiently it will come automatically it will pop up some some uh, prompt screens see this is a circle green circle is in front of me is uh, popping up let me minimize the screen actually <laughs> okay see just just no remind me later this comes up so now you have to press launch on jupiter and launch on spider so as soon as you launch the jupiter you will have this screen here in front of you as it is so as this is actually browser based python engine okay why we go with this thing because when you try to practice basics of the python very basics of the python we normally teach in jupyter notebook right but most most of the data science artificial intelligence and uh, open cv or another and several type of stuff we can run here but most of the stuff for the network processing we normally go for the spider and the pycharm right so i will run all of the code in front of you on all two and three engine right but there is one more thing here if you go to command prompt window r c n d c d dot dot c d dot dot if you type c python right if you type python and this is another engine of the python you must know the prompt of the python also because if you don't know the python uh, the prompt of the python also then you can never uh one second let me exit control z 
then you can never run a file or execute a file from this prompt engine right okay uh, let me go to very basic stuff since we have launched the jupiter this is the jupiter now i want to open a new running format new file so click here new python 3 and there is a new pop-up comes up here wait patiently and this is cell this is the cell here in this cell you type support print hello world and just type control enter and you will see the execution here how many of you did did understand that after installing the python in the anaconda they bring up the jupiter and they will run the code in this way apas did you understood this and wasim already know this thing i hope and Ahmed, did you understand that what about the alam wasim already knew this okay now since you know this thing let me copy this python print code here in a spider okay so this is the code actually right but in a spider is an integrated development environment let me open my spider here suppose here so what i do i will write a new file write this one can you see untitled.py actually i cannot enhance the integrated development environment if i type print hello or let me enhance this screen like this one can you see screen by now right but i need to control s save it right now when i try to save it you can see my path is here python you can see the path my hair is python everybody can see path is here python okay when i try to save it i will save it as a suppose first first class dot py okay now what if i will run it i will run it as here now you can see the result is here hello world everybody can see the result is hello world but if i want i have a thousands of the line of the code and i have only the python file i want to run from the prompt like cmd like cd dot dot cd dot dot suppose uh, where i was cd e e cd python dir so this was the file remember what was the file name first class dot py right now uh, first we run the code in in anaconda by pressing printing then we write the code in spider and then we save the file as a spider.py you can see the path here also right so now i want to run it so first i can run it here as a green i can see the output hello world but there's another strategy i did go to prompt right and then i can see my file here and then i can run it python like first class dot py and then it should print hello world see everybody understood what i did here alam apas wasim already knew this thing good one so this is another now what if i want to code in pycharm so pycharm is exactly same as spider but there is a glitch and the catch in this way if somebody is stuck in the packages or the binaries or dlls or any third party libraries listen very carefully i, I need to type this for you also okay uh, i hope you will understand anaconda for basic right for spider uh, professional and for more powerful more powerful working you will type pi charm okay i hope you understand this thing okay why the pi charm because pi charm is easy to integrate pi charm is easy to integrate packages and it is very easy to bring up the packages inside okay this is the whole structure of the programming running and compiling now i am totally moving towards python so we are going to start python from 0 to 25 percent today are you ready because in in in, in two or three uh, classes i need to finish my python but you must know how python works how we code on it 
definitely then you can understand it for me it's easy to to deliver you all the code that i have but you must know how to run it and how to how to find the result uh, yes library means suppose third party library like uh, tensorflow uh, like uh, numpy uh, any third party library like open cv if i want to integrate pycharm is the best that we can bring the uh, api inside and it is a single click so should i show you now how can i integrate my library inside you want to see it where you put some stuff? show okay where did you import the stuff have you ever done this in pycharm or what never okay then you then you must know that some okay well uh, let me show you if i have the pycharm here and if i want to import something like you can have a setting and you can have a version control one second in what you know we have this you can have a python interpreter and in your python interpreter this is here you will have your third party library you can see a, a loading pan here right suppose if i if i have another interpreter suppose loading pan here i don't have third party library here what if i do what i press plus Uh, it should bring up all the libraries here, but I don't think so. It's bringing up here. Why? Uh, my net is slow. I don't know. Okay, it should bring bring up all the libraries here. Here, definitely. Let me see my internet. Why this is they are very slow? One second. Why is it so? Then let me close my wireless. Yeah, I see. You can see now. Okay, if I try to type, suppose n numpy, we use numpy for data science. Suppose we if I use TensorFlow, TensorFlow, we use TensorFlow. Okay, what if I want to use Scapy for packet caption? You see, Scapy is here. What if I want to tell that? What if I want to use third party like uh, netcat no it's not available what if i want to use uh, nmap nmap is here no nmap is not here so whatever the third party suppose a and sable no and sable is not here what about uh, uh, whatever the library the third parties have it's very easy to integrate in pycharm but it's very tough to integrate in another packages even in An anaconda give me very hard stuff to integrate the packages inside right I hope Vasim do understand this very clearly. Let's jump to the purpose that what we are going to do. Okay, so we are going to learn the pattern from zero to 25 in a very fast pattern, right? So uh, if somebody don't know pattern, and if somebody knows the pattern, and if somebody uh, have a good understanding of the pattern, kindly hold and uh, bear with me, and uh, you will enjoy more because what I do, I actually start from the basics and directly leads you towards a, uh, a more in terms of, uh, you may say, uh, advanced stuff. And what I do, I segregate all the portions uh, one by one by understanding. Let me take you directly to the Python portions, right? And how I normally teach the people. Let's start, Bismillah. Let me minimize this thing. Okay, this is my Notepad++. Okay, uh, what is the pattern and what is the language, right? So, uh, in a language, we have a syntax. Okay, what is the syntax? Let me clear you things very clearly and very fast. So, uh, we should not waste our time. So, in a syntax, what is syntax actually? Syntax is like you write code in certain manner that a compiler understand it understand it and run it and make some exe or execution for you right did you understand that syntax is code in a certain manner that compiler can understand it and run it for you so what are the syntax of the any language right what is the syntax uh, okay i will tell you the syntax of the two languages said so you can understand the what is the syntax of a programming language so suppose if I code in Java, 
just bear with me if i code in the java then i will type in a way like public uh, like i have to initialize a class test and then i have to start the basis and then i have to good public static void main right string args and then i have to again i will start another basis and then i have to system dot out dot pentalum and then i have to set hello world right this is the java syntax but if i show you the python syntax you may understand it very easily i do not need to do anything just type print hello world that's it so everybody know now that there is a hell of the difference between the java code to even to pin <laughs> even to pin the hello world you have to initialize all this 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 right but in the python you just need to print this nothing else right so this is the java syntax and this is the python syntax got it okay let me move on so we will stick to python right so people did understand the syntax and syntax have certain parameters and as we learn and then we will understand okay so this is the syntax now we'll come to the uh, variables commits will be at the end actually i will i will uh, put it here so and then what are the variables okay now listen again very carefully variables when we talk about the variables a i b a r and b l e s variables okay suppose you you capture a packet as a network engineer right as a network engineer you cap you capture a a packet suppose a packet but my question is question is where did you capture the packet can anybody tell me where did you capture the packet when you capture a packet where did you capture the packet where where is the packet actually can anybody tell me no idea hold the values in the variable yes the, the, bilkul yes you are right from some systems based on source and destination ip yes i must say yes but this is was but this is for the those people those who don't know the programming so that's why i'm making uh stuff for them to understand in terms of the networking because people are here are too much network people so when they when they capture the packet they hold the packet in a variable in some sort of memory address right when you capture a packet and then then you hold the packet in a memory address right and that memory address is called a variable to any language any any language even the c++ the java the python the sql uh, whatever the language you think so what is the variable variable are the most powerful uh, data components you may say a what a data components of any language right and what are the data components that means now listen carefully the data components consist of the numbers and characters what consist of numbers and the characters okay then what are the numbers and what are the characters suppose my age right is number and my height is number h e i g h t is number and uh, uh, another thing that are only number phone number is uh, is actually a number a uh, mobile number is a number right wait 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 i'm a wait wait for the boolean actually let me clear you all this stuff let me bring up the uh the base of the other people's also then we'll discuss all this thing here okay variables are the are uh okay numbers are the age height and the phone and the characters are like name father name and address but address have the numbers also so that means that means if address has numbers also that means character plus so sorry collector plus numbers r equal to strings apas and other people those who don't know keep in mind the the numbers or the numeric value 
right? There are three things in any language that exist. Only the numbers, the characters, and the strings. Nothing else, right? The basis of the, the basics of any language to hold the value are these three things, right? The numbers and the characters and the strings. And strings are the, uh, you may say, numbers plus characters right so they are the basic variables that uh, they hold the uh, the you may say a value inside right okay let me show you how we declare the va the variable now listen the term what i say declare the variable the variable okay that means when i can declare the variable then i can use it what do you mean? Use it. That means, use it means I can deliver the value inside the variable and I can fetch or bring the value from variable. From variable. Let me show you live demonstration. Let me go with the uh, uh, path on Anaconda. Okay, let me type it here. Since I print, uh, okay, one more thing you can add one more cell here like plus and you can zoom it now if i say x is 10 and then y is equals to Faisal amir so that means x is a variable right that is a value 10 and y is a variable that has value characters okay x is a value is a 10 and y is a variable as a character but normally we demonstrate it as a string what we demonstrated why as a string okay remember the the the, uh, the point we bring it up here is uh, comments right so when you try to code and this means that compiler would, would not read this thing this is for our understanding that what is the code that we are using it here suppose i print here that this is this is variable variable of having value 10 in it and that means compiler will not read it so these are called the comments okay now move forward x is a value 10 and y is the value Faisal Amir. now i want i declare the value here and i initialize the values what i what i said declare and initialize it right and then I want to use it. Suppose I print X and then I use it print Y. I want to use it print Y. Now if I, I okay, in, 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 in Anaconda, if you want to run a code, you have to press control enter, right? Now you see, I declared a variable and I use it. That means declaring the variable, you declare a, any type of variable like a b c d e even you can you can do said like number like uh, whatever you want to put a name on a variable but keep precise to the names so first i put the name x and x is equals to 10 so this is the syntax of a programming language and python is the basics and the powerful because if you want to declare a number or a character or a string in another language you have to go by uh, you have to go with, with with more coding actually let me show you how you will go more by the coding in my notepad if you want to declare a variable in java you have to declare it in a way int a is equals to 10 and then semicolon if you want to declare then you have to print a string c h a r character c h a c is equals to like Faisal Amir, right? This is my name and semicolon. But in Python, the powerful thing is that you do not need to write this thing. By declaring these values, Python will automatically understand this is the number and this is the string value. I hope you people have got an idea what I'm trying to tell here. Declaring the variable and using the variable, right? Apas, did you understand this thing? 
this is for those people those who are very much in 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 okay good one amir apas wasim has already have an idea another is alam also alam did you understand this thing good one okay now move forward so uh, this is this is actually in a programming language okay one more thing these are my my handmade generated notes actually right so this this is the variables that we we did understand and the, the data types we have okay what are the data types by telling you the data types i will directly shift you to the python data data type code here and this is a very big code we are going to uh, to run here and we will learn it run it and learn it now keep in mind i have the code of the python loop python functions python uh, loops python list python tuple python dictionary and python another client side and server side socket communication that we try to write a bomb in it so uh, wasim did understand it very clearly that the collection that i have here is like a basics pure basics of the python and you can learn it very easily by by running this code on your anaconda so i after finishing this class i will give you python data type this this code here but i will run it in front of you then you can realize what what the code is and how to run it okay okay now move on so since we understand the syntax we understand the variables now what are the data types right now the data types are data types in the python languages are only 3 three. Three to four, but the basics are is the number, right? And number is used in Python as integer, as an int value, or as a uh, you may call it an integer actually. And as a character, it is a character. And then we have a string that, and we declare it as a str, okay? And character is a character, and then a number. Let me type or bring you up the code that works for you in a in a variable actually. so what are the basic types i put it here one second python data types okay these are the python data types you can see built in the data types are text types are the string numeric types are the integer float and the complex and the boolean types uh, amir was discussing is the is the bool actually okay bool is only store one or zero or true or false actually right suppose if you want to check something and that is actually a wrong statement then you will state you will store it in boolean variable okay so we will discuss today only these three string integer and the booleans we will not go with the float and the complex because our purpose of the learning is the pure not too much pure programming but in fact those things that we will use in our python because i want to go more fast because we have to cover the loops and the functions definitely without running the loops and the function you cannot iterate the ips okay the scannings the ports suppose i want to scan an ip and i want to go through one port to 2000 ports that scan either these ports are open or not i need to use the loop inside so my Uh, understanding to you people teaching you python in a way that you can understand the python by networking mentality so i am trying to adjusting trying to adjust the thoughts or the feelings that since you people are all the networks so uh, uh, how to put a python type specific towards a networking actually well uh, leave it and then move to the uh, coding actually so uh, let me go to the python and python basics So uh, the Python basics. Uh, let me let me go to the basics. I will do some basic coding here just for the basic understanding. So I will put suppose x is ten, x is ten, right? And y is suppose is is two. If I if I say k k is x divided by y, then what would be the k value? can anybody tell me what will be the k value 5 yes we see said 5 yes but we need to check it print k so can we have yes but what i did what i did here is actually store the variable x10 
y2 k x divided by y can i do directly this 10 divided by 2 yes i can do this see i what i did 10 divided by 2 and then i control enter it and i have the result of the 5.0 that means by declaring the variable x is equals to suppose uh, 5 and k is equals to uh, x divided by 5 y we can have the value of k and then we can run it and print it so now i am going to run a series of lot of code that you need to understand one by one in a very fast way okay if you somehow don't understand just ping me that Faisal by uh, go slow right now i'm going to be very fast now let me go my data types okay now first code i copy copy it here and i will paste it here like this control v now x is 5 and y is Faisal Amir. if i run it then i have a result like 5 and Faisal Amir, right now i will bring up another control c now plus i will zoom it for you control v and x is 4 and x is a name right name could be a john or whatever the testing you want to do but what i did here is only the comments that that is now a type string and x is a 4 that means if x is 4 but suddenly x becomes the string so uh, what it will print it will print 4 or test can anybody tell me the machine said test Apas, can you tell me what it will print Apas, can you tell me what it will print I need to see from the upper also. Test. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Why test up us? You can see it on the voice actually. Yes, the latest value. Okay. Uh, what if I print X here? Then now what it will print? No, 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 no. Upper character is not the priority. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Upper set characters is property that doesn't happen. Actually, okay. Now understand it in a way. Actually, when you you code and execution in the compiler occurs from top to bottom approach. Listen it very carefully. Okay. When you code, when you code something, right? Programming work top to bottom approach right i hope you understand this thing in a top or bottom approach x is four and we didn't use four we directly shift x to another state and then we print the x so then x will print the latest state of the x actually that is test what if i print print x here now after declaring the x the state x will print 4 and then x state is changed that is test now i will run it now you see it's 4 but what if i say this is y and i am not using this and then i will say x is let me put a gap here and then i will say y now see what i did Y maintains its state until unless it will not change it will maintain its state at the even thousandth line of the code right okay now come to another part okay now now let me code here okay this is another strange thing in any in any language you cannot declare variables directly in this way right so bear or understand it very clearly you can declare the variables by by comma separation and by initialization this so x is orange y is banana and z is cherry not even that if i say x y z k then i can say suppose k is something right now if i run print k now you can see you can see it very clearly what if i remove and what if i print it you may say there's an error here it is saying that too many value values to unpack that means 
you declare only x which is orange what if i do this and run it see again two value unpack what if i say does it run or not yes it will run because we did initialize it but it's blank actually okay it will not it will run but if i say test east west and if i say south then it will run okay but why i didn't print because i print x only i can print another variables also control v control one second control v control v now if i change x y z and then k now if i print then you have got orange east west and south now come to another code what if i declare the value here like in this way control v now x y and z all are the same like an orange like if i put apple here the all of them becomes the apple okay no problem now if i go here control c i press here control v now if i run it Python is awesome. Now there is one glitch here. What if I y is 10 and if I put y here, so this is the problem, right? Yes, Samir, you are right. STRY, you are very sharp. But what what is did it this this will work or not if I put the comma here? Amir. <laughs> okay, yes, it will work. Okay, first I need to tell the people why X. Okay, now listen very carefully. Before initializing this thing, there is one one very powerful feature inside the languages, and this is called concatenation. Okay, what is concatenation? concatenation says or says or it tries to tell the people that x is a string variable or it has a string value then print is started from the string variable then it can join only plus means it can join the string inside suppose suppose uh, 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 am i say facile and if i say y is equals to a m w -E r now look carefully x plus y it will concatenate it will join the variables here but if i convert the value 10 it will never join it that means concatenation works only for string actually that's it this is the basic rule and the final rule right what if you want to print it but then you have to put comma here now it will print very easily see facile 10 is here no what if i try to say x k is equals to amwr can i do this can i do this here appa can i do this here alam amir Basim, can i do this here yes i can do this here print now you can see three old variables are printed but one listen carefully x and k is the string variable then i can i put plus here let me run it now see it plus works only with the string but not with the integer variable okay i hope you didn't read this or you didn't learn this in any way wasim did you learn this or not no good good okay now move forward Okay, now this, uh, you see exactly, uh, next example is exactly the same that I mentioned here, control V. Now you see, X is, is like a Python, Y is awesome, and we are joining these variables, and then we print the variable here. Now if I run it, it will join it, right? Now you can join it here, or you can join it, and then initialize another variable, but can I do this here? Like if I suppose, a is 10 and then i can turn here suppose no what, what is this what is this why is is print up can anybody tell me what has happened here 
No. All right. No, 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 no. <laughs> Might be error. <laughs> okay, let me remove it. Can anyone tell me what this has happened here? Now, listen carefully, Amir or Vaseem. You learn a very much thing, but this becomes tuple. This becomes tuple. Have you ever heard it or see it? No? But you know it, but you never know this will come out as a tuple, right? Okay, now move forward. I am not going to waste time. Okay, since uh, you can run this, you can run this. So you, you see, I have one more example here, but it will not work because uh, you cannot join uh, int variable with with string variable. So we didn't we did understand the built-in types. What are the strings and integer? So this is my collected node. Now come to the okay. Wow, this is one example I put normally to show people what is, what is the power of the Python. Let me show you the power of the Python. Now listen, everybody, very carefully. I am multiplying it with the same variable. Now, if I control enter run it, wow, wow, fascinating. Now, listen carefully, everybody. You cannot do this in C sharp, in Java, in other languages. Can we do this, Vaseem, in other languages? No, Python is very powerful, is very powerful. They can print this thing because they have too much inside the mathematics. We cannot do this in any language. We have to transform all these things into some sort of specific types and then put some sort of mathematical operation. Then we will find this result. It's fascinating, astonishing in my whole life that Python do this thing. Okay, now move forward. Okay, now listen very carefully for you people. I'm trying to run this for you because we are learning uh, in a Python, the binary, the base, the binary, the octal and the hexadecimal. Okay, why we are going to learn or why we want to learn this thing. Remember the packets as a deep packet inspection, they deliver us as a hexadecimal, right? In a payload, in a payload, we always have a hex value, right? In the payload, we always have a we always have a hex value. So we need to know in the Python what are the binary, how we can run the binary, and how we can run the octal. Okay, to run the binary, just put zero b, small b, or the capital B. So that becomes the binary. Okay, let me print this here. What is the binary of what is the one second? This becomes the octal. Now, what is the binary of the four? No, what's the mistake? Base binary. Okay, let me shift to nine. Again, mistake. Okay, what is the what is the reason? Okay, no problem. What if I shift one zero? Wow. Can anybody tell me what was the mistake here? Nine, it was not running. Can anybody tell me? Yes, it's one or zero. Okay, Apas, listen carefully. When you when you said binary here, then binary means it will work like one zero one zero one zero one 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 zero one zero one. That's it. Now, if you control enter, it will it will convert this whole value into number. Binary means only one or zero. Apas, did you understand it? Yes, good one. Okay, that's okay. Now we what come to zero x as a new cell. So this is what. Okay. What if I say it's nine? Okay. What if I put ten here? What will come here? Can anybody tell me if they are genius? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. No, 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 Rizwan, no, 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 no. Capital A, not small a. 
Wow, this is 16, right? Seventeen, right? What if I say nine? That's nine. What if I say capital A? <laughs> now you listen it. Uh, you, you see it or understand it. Actually, may in actually after nine, that is nine. But in since you are in hexadecimal state, you have to put what a okay what if i put a f a f a f f a did you understand it or not no okay let me go back capital a is 10 then capital b is 11 and then capital f is for 15 right okay what if i say 2 capital f 255 How this becomes 255? Mm, 15 multiplied by 15 is 255. Even I don't know. Let me bring up my calculator here. You said 15 multiplied by 15 is 15 into 55. 15, yes. No, you said 15 into 15 is 2, but this is 225, not 255. 15 plus 15 plus no, 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 no way. Okay, okay. Tell me the ASCII, ASCII 8 bit range. The, the ASCII 8 bit range, if you have 2 raised to power 8. <coughs> Minus one, then it is two fifty five or two fifty six. Yes, it's two fifty five. So, did you have hint what I type here? You will see and you will understand it by yourself. I am not wasting my time here. My point of understanding or to get to, to deliver you is only that if you run it, you will have the hex value. Right now, move forward because I, I need to cover up a lot of code here. So if somebody wants the break, they can have the break, but I can move more because I need to cover all this code till end. You can see the code till end and I will do run it. So should I move on or do you need to people a break actually? Move on, move on, go on, please go ahead. Okay, done. Okay, now since we know the hex value, we know the boundary, then we must know the octal also. So did we run the octal? No, we didn't run the octal. Let me see the octal. Control C. I hope, and now I see people are enjoying actually Python, right? Am I right or wrong? People are enjoying, right, Python. Okay. <laughs> so print. 10 is 8. What if I print in octal 7? No, what if I print 8 in octal? What is this? Did you see? In 7, octal is 7. But as soon as I print 8, it gives me error. And if I move to 9, is again error. And if I move to 10, then it runs. Wow, it becomes 8 again. Okay, what if I say 12, it has become the 10. Actually, here, 0 to 7 are allowed. Okay, okay. Wh why not 8 or 9, right? Why not 8 and 9? Okay, what if you divide 10 by 7, 7 by the 7, then you will have a remainder of 3, right? Okay, suppose 10, it's 8. So what's the logic? Why 10 becomes 8? Can anybody tell me? 
one multiply. Oh, come on, man. One plus no, 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 no. Okay, khair. okay, leave it. I am not just going to waste time here because this is not the concern actually. Okay. Okay, next next complex numbers. I will not go with the complex numbers because this is not our part of the understanding. But keep in mind, I will share you all of you people this file that I have code here. Because after seven, next value will become ten. Yes, somehow it becomes the ten, but how? Nobody knows. Okay, you find it by yourself. I need to cover my topic here very clearly. Okay, now you see uh, we have learned all the uh, variables and all the initializations. Now what I what I normally uh, do here <clears throat> deliver all the variables here. Like x is hello world is a string. X is twenty is integer x is 20.5 is float float means decimal values or uh, point values 1j okay keep in mind whenever you point put j in in front of the variable it becomes a complex number right okay now this is very much powerful if you put x and you if you have this braces this becomes a list this becomes a list okay Everybody have done a set theory in metric in FSE or in their college or in their school areas in their school time, right? Right. So the set is this is the set actually some sort of set. You try to arrange the the variables in and group them in these braces and they become the list. Now I have the whole code of the list here how to operate with the list now listen carefully all of you people list is same thing as array yes list is same but but i may keep in mind python list is thousand time powerful as compared to java c sharp or c plus plus if i if i told you that if you have a country data a whole country data that you can store it in a single list and you can traverse it i can show you here okay now leave it come to the point what i was here where i was so my point is that i in a list operation i have one whole big chapter there are thousands of lines of code i have collected for you people since i am teaching the python is seven years so i have all the things that need to grindly grunt you to understanding and keep in mind the python the the uh, uh, my style of teaching you people from from direct coding running and understanding there is no theory beyond all this thing i think wasim have never learned this thing have you ever learned this thing in before a good one wasim okay good wasim never say no wasim always say yes okay <laughs> that's good one to hear what about amir did you learn this way good then good one then zabadas that means you people have the basic understanding how programming works and how they need to understand these things and you know the uh, the way that i am teaching or the telling or trying to understand you is more better than uh, like delivering you theoretical right so uh, this is more better right wasim and amar yes okay now move move ahead so in in this list you can you can store store whole country data right country data okay and and then this is the tuple actually remember the tuple i've told you this is the tuple okay and this is the range whenever you try to deliver a value from from certain values like six okay range six means x is initialized from one to one to five sorry zero to five Keep in mind, list means a range mean. Now, if I declare range, x range is 10, then that means range is 0 to 9. Right? Just keep it in mind. Okay? okay. Now, what is this? What is this? 
Okay. To understand this, let me let me go do something for you. X. Suppose I do. Suppose I say one column Cecil, comma C comma. Keep in mind two early comma three Kashif. Right. Now there's one problem here. I can do this. Two and this is three and this is Kashif. This is called dictionary. And dictionary always have a key value pair. So the first one is the key and the value is the facile. First one is two is the key and Ali is the value. Three is the key and Kashif is the value. Okay, since I said this is the key and this is the value, what if I do, do like uh, Noman and then I say uh, colon uh, 200. In this way, which is the key and which is the value? Noman is the value or the 200 is the value? Yes, Noman is always the key. Before the colon, always the first value is the key and the second one is the value. Right, so uh, this is very powerful initialization or the declaration or the usage of dictionary, list, tuple, in Python. That means to initialize an array or a list in an in 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 a Java, you have no idea what you have to do. Let me demonstrate you one line or two line of the code, and that you will be irritating. To initialize the array in Java, <laughs> this is a very fear actually. Int a new int 10. Right? Now, there's one more thing. Values are still non initialized. You just declare a would be array of 10. Now, to initialize it, you have to lose a for loop like uh, int i is equal to 0 to i should be less than a dot l e n g t h and a plus plus and then you have to use system dot out dot print ln and then a and it's still it's still uh, I, I do not need to print it i need to initialize it so a of i is equals to suppose 10. now every value inside an array inside an array or inside of list right inside of list is it stand actually so you see it's too much hectic for the java for the c sharp even inside the c plus plus you have to initialize the array value in this way but the pattern is like a uh, like, uh, like a butter you just declare x and this like uh, this one and comma and two and this becomes the list that means your list has two values and their indexer are only one and two so those people those who already know the language before uh, the pattern uh, they know the reality of the pattern but if those people who do not know any language for for them i need to tell you that the power of the pattern is just one line right and you will see when we write the code inside the scripting to analyze the uh, network analysis and network the packet right okay now move on so this is the dictionary i have told you uh, this is the dictionary right this is the dictionary and this is what we initialization the dictionary and this is uh, uh, fruits of the dictionary okay and this is this is how we use the value okay now what i did here amir amir told me that uh, okay uh, okay let me do one thing for you here I'm copying it here from XC and I'm going to Anaconda and I'm run it here and I will print X and I will run it. So since we know this hello world is already a string, then why we need to declare this here? 
So that means these functions are the basics of the pattern and you can convert anything here into a string. Okay, that means if I say y is 10, right? And if I try to convert y in a string, then now you see why this is str method is here. So we already know that if x is facile, then this is already a string. So we do not need to do this. You can directly print y here. Right, so you have the facile, but if somehow your value is integer or the number and you want to uh, print them in a string value, then you can have this. But there is one more power, suppose, suppose, and the power is that uh, k is like testing. Can we do y plus k? Tell me, can we do y plus k? Yes or no. Apas, can you tell me, can we do y plus, exactly. So what I need to do, I need to convert this y as an integer into string. So can I do this string? Apas, tell me, will it run or not? Alam, uh, Apas, can you tell me, will it run or not? Because since this 10 becomes a string and we can concatenate a string within a string. Apas, you are confused, right? Oh, that's a problem. What's the problem here? <laughs> I actually jumped the situation. Y is K and STR is the Y. <laughs> now you see. <clears throat> so my throat got, got dry actually so i need to drink water please sorry <clears throat> okay so uh, now that means this is the value and we can convert it into an in any format that means 20 is already an integer right so let me copy and run it here control v so this 20 is already integer and i can print so that is say it is an integer what if I say type X? Can you see type of X? So type is a something that will tell you what is X. Okay. What if I say Y is facile and K is 10.2 uh, and L is uh, true. Right? Now type X, now if I type type Y, print type K, print type L. Now you can, everybody you can answer it very clearly. The type X is integer, type Y is the string, type K is the float and type L is the, is the Boolean. Okay, let me run it. Now you can see it, okay. Now move on. So in this way, you can you can you can find any of the type actually. You can find the type of the dictionary also, right? If I declare the dictionary here, suppose or list suppose x is like, what if I want to declare like this one, Faisal, comma and uh, Ali, and if I say print type x, then it will show me list. Can you see? Can you see? Everybody can see it, right? Okay, so what if I say, what if I say comma two and comma three? Now, what is the type? Apas, 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 what is the type? Alam, Rizwan, Ali. Now, what is the type? Dictionary, yes, it is the dictionary. Control enter. Wow, what happened? <laughs> What happened here? Can anybody tell me what had happened here? 
dictionary needs to be in this way. <laughs> always confused right so keep in mind how i jump with the programming languages okay okay my dear uh, that means you can do all this uh, stuff here i hope you enjoy this code uh, of this understanding so tell me everybody everybody did understood the programming of the basics of the python the code that i've run here and uh, uh, python da basic data type is covered right so you have idea in one hour, one point or one point five hour, we did cover the basics, the running the data types of the Python, right? So that means in, in, in our basic uh, Python, what, what, one second, in our basic Python, we did cover the sub syntax, we did cover the variables, we did cover the data types and we did cover the strings, the booleans, right? What did we cover? Okay. We did cover still control X and I will say here and we did cover the casting also, but I will tell you casting, but we did understand bit understand the tuple, the list and the dictionary, right? Let me copy it here. So these columns are here. Let me dig it down. So we did understand the syntax, the variables, the data type, the numbers, the strings, the booleans. And we did understand this thing. Okay. I hope you did understand all this thing. Now I'm going to take you towards you the, the loop actually. What is the loop? Should I continue or should I break? What are the suggestions? Because uh, it's uh, from my side is uh, 30 minutes left to finish the class. So it's been 1.5 hour. Break because you are a teacher. No, 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 that's okay. I'm teacher. I had a experience of standing of 2.5 hours straight of teaching. I have a bottle water here and I can drink it and I can teach you uh, 30 minutes more very easily. Wasim, we can continue. Because, yes, because now. Uh, I'm going to teach you the most powerful in terms of the uh, Python as a for loop and for loop works with mostly list items. Okay. Okay. Why I'm going with the Python with the list items because the IP, uh, the packages, the scenarios are mostly in the list items, right? Let me take you to the code also. I hope you people are bit, bit understanding. Okay, let me go you one where I have the for loop and the declaration of the variables. So we did not have, still we did not learn the else if statement and the return statement. And we still did not uh, learn the def, def statement, defining the statement. And uh, we still did not learn a lot of stuff, right? Uh, we need actually nearly uh, four classes more to become the best in the Python as we are doing it now, right? But that doesn't mean I will not show you the code. Whatever we learn, we'll, we'll try to tell you this is inside the code. The, whatever we learn, this is inside the code. And then we will learn and this is inside the code. So I have the code is there. And this is the basics of the coding. But this R plus proofing is nothing. We are far more better than code. But the basics you need to understand. That's why I bring all the code in front of you people, right? So I do not want to take all the code to the grave. This is your property. Now come to the for loop with the list item. Okay. One second. Let me have one packet sniffer here. Now you can see the packet. Now you can see in, in the list item, it loads up the packet. See, it loads up the packet and then there are the keywords. Wow. Now you can understand it. The keywords are in the list items. You're getting me? Wasim, are you getting me? Okay, so it, since the keywords are in the list item, so you that means you can sniff the packet and inside the packet you can find these values. But we what we what we are missing the for and the if statement. So uh, by covering the for if and the definition of the programming, definitely we can understand this code very easily. So I hope you have an idea. What is my strategy? 
to take you to understand uh, the cyber security with the Python. If it means then if you understand the Python, slowly and gradually you can have the window in your head by understanding the code. And you, if you can understand the code very well, then you have the understanding how to hack the code or how to, uh, you may say, to how to make a theory out of it. So I'm not going from theory to the code. I am taking you from code to directly to hacking code. So you can generate from your head what it will do. Further, the basic remaining like HTTP request and response and this and that I will present with my presentations as we have present this presentation here, right? So on every module, I have one presentation, one code collector and back inside the code. This is the code and this is the notepad plus plus code here. So we have nearly three files on each module. How many files? Three files on each module. What? The presentation. Right? The presentation. The code. And uh, what was the third one? What did I say? The presentation, the code, and 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 none, and, and this code, uh, the example code of this that I have here in in my Notepad plus plus, right? So in every module you will have definitely on every module you will have increased more power of your Python language. Now move to Python for loops. Okay, before going to for loop, uh, those people who do not know the for loop uh, and those who know uh what is the loop actually so in terms of the language or in terms of the programming or in terms of uh, uh you may say a target suppose if somebody wants to move move from one to ten somebody wants to move from ten to hundred right you are ten to hundred so that means your your initial value is one and your last value is 10. So that means when you have an initial state and a final state, then you are actually in a loop. But that loop does not mean it will not end. It will end. So loop means the ending structure of some state where you have steps of doing something right suppose suppose if you have step suppose i want to show you one step one step two step three and suddenly suppose suppose dot 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 dot, dot, dot you came to step 10 and in this step 10 you have a state go to step one right so this is the loop this is the never ending loop as soon as you will enter in this loop right as soon as you reach the step 10 this means go to step one it will directly take you to what is this called can anybody tell me what is this called have you ever heard the term thread deadlock a program that runs and cannot break itself indefinite loop yes infinite loop yes this is called infinite loop yes you are right this is normally the the thread deadlock okay <sighs> one second so loop is actually normally we will work loop on list items suppose i have a list item like x is equals to in a list like uh, name like uh, orange and uh, banana and uh, whatever cherry and this is this is what we have the initialization of the list and the end of the list right okay now i want to put a loop on uh, before putting the loop on on list i want to show you actually uh, more basic of the loop okay now i am shifting a new ipad notebook right so what i will do i will go to main okay 
I will go to main, new, new path on, right? And I will start a for, a for loop here, right? Okay. What I will declare x is range of ten for i in x print x. This is the basic syntax of the for inside the Python loop. You have to memorize it, understand it, and this is the you may say uh, a line on a stone, right? This is the hard and fast rule, and this is the way. Means you declared a variable with a range of ten, and then you are looping in this range one by one. What is this for means for those for very basic people, those who don't know the loop actually, how it will work. X has a range of one to ten, and I will move on X one by one and print the value of X. No, print the value of I. Okay. Since X is a one to ten, then in one it, I will be on first step of the x, then it will print the first value. Then it will move to next value, then next value, then next value, until x it will reaches the x maximum state. Let me run it. Now you see. Remember, I've told you in a range value that I will run on an x one by one. How many of you didn't understand this thing? Apas, I, 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 yes, okay, good. But Apas, this is this is very simple. Let me more complicate it. Okay, now what will print here? Apas, tell me what will print here. Apas, can you understand this thing, what I did? All names, okay, but at what? It will print at the same as it is shows. Okay, it will print. Yes, now, now you have to understand it in a technical way. Why is iterating on X list one by one? This is the programming language. Uh, you may say a language. This is a programmer's language that I is iterating on list one by one. A person, other people must. Uh, put this word in vocabulary when you run in an array or in a collection of the values and you run through one by one this is called iterating on the loop actually okay now since you do understand this thing you understand the range also remember the range we did x is a range of uh, 10 and for i in x and what we did print x and what what is this what has happened okay what i did here oh so did you understood what has happened here how many of you understood this what what has happened here what if I put I? It's print the value 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And what if I say X into what what has happened here? Nobody knows? Okay. 
tell me one it's more. Un understood actually it is giving for uh, X range 0 to 10 actually whatever we have printed that is the given is information is re reflecting there okay now first tell me what you'll print here I, I i have one string here my name Apas, you tell me what you'll print here i'm actually the muhammad faisal amir muhammad faisal amir okay okay what if i print i here wow now that means i loops on one by one okay what if i say if if what if i say now now care look carefully i if i is is a continue Can anybody tell me what has happened here? No print a. Yes. There is condition I put here. When if M comes up, M is not equal to A, it will print. As soon as it will reach the A, it will continue the loop to next value. It will not let it go to print. Okay. So that means we have understood the loops in three way in the list way in the simple character standing way and in the range way right in the range way remember x is range of 10 and for i in x and print of i now we have three structures of the loop in a list we can iterate x, iterate i one by one. And then what I did, x is full string, i is in x, right? And i is a, and if somehow i matches the a, it will drop it. What it will do? It will drop it. And what if I put break here? What will happen? It will break. As soon as it will find the A, A, it will break. M U H, it finds the A, it breaks the whole loop. And what if I put continue? It will continue, except the A, it can print. Right? Okay. What if I say if X is equals to Al uh, Karachi? continue now here what will happen as soon as it will find the karachi the, the this this word it will skip the word now listen carefully here it is jumping on character by character but in list item it is jumping word by word this is what you need to understand it very carefully now you see karachi wow karachi is here again What did mistake? What kind of mistake I did? Oh, ho, ho. okay. Find me the mistake. Can anybody find me the mistake? Yes. I is the crutch. Very clever, Amir. <laughs> I, right? I. Since I is the crutch, and if it did not, if did match, it will continue and it will skip the crutch. That means here, listen carefully, everybody. Here, I behaves on the items. Okay. And here I behaves on the collective strings and character by character. And here X behaves on the range of the 10 I and it will print the value from 0 to 9. Okay. Now let me see what my code collection is. I still do not get it that why did the range print it from 0 to 9? Okay. Your question is valid. Remember one thing in every programming language, in any programming language, there is a situation or a scenario called indexing. Okay. When you declare something 10, it the memory, memory 
addressing always initialize from 0 to 9. And if you count 0 to 9, it is the 10 actually, 10 variable. There is one. From 0 to 9, it is the 10. Even Java, even C sharp, even C, they always do the same actually. When you try to declare 10, it's always initialized from 0 to 9. Okay. So this is actually indexing. And it is the default behavior of the programming language, but declaring the range, it will also initialize from the 0. To nine means they are the ten values actually. Bus. Okay, these are the things are you may say are, are, are the rules actually. You just need to memorize it. There is no question on it. Okay, rules are are for the languages, not for the understanding. Rules are to to learn it and how to solve the problem actually. Now we should move on. Okay, now I'm taking you to the what are the what, what are the uh, codes that I have did on. Okay, let me see control C, new, control V here, control enter. Wow, what I did here. Okay, what I did here is actually numbers are 1, 2, 4, 6, 11, and 20. And I squared them and pinned them. Okay, I squared them and pinned them. No, but there's a problem here. What if I do control V and I don't need a variable here? What can can I do this? Well, uh, multiply by well. Can I do this? Yes or no? I don't need this. Yes, I can do this. See? 1, 4, 16, 36, 121, 400. Here, what is happening? We initializing, we initialize a separate value, variable where it will multiply one by one, assign this to this variable, and we did print it. In, and in this way, we just find the value multiply it and print it. So there is no difference in this and this, right? Except the sequence of zero here, okay? Now move to next. This is what we have already done, right? Sorry, uh, let me remove this. Control V, wow. What has happened here? X is directly here. Normally what we do, X is uh like uh, x is in pakistan and what we do is normally i in x and this will print okay this will print i right the pakistan but the code i did print here is actually what will happen here will it work or not just tell me Apas. And it will print the same as it is. That means I can run it in this way. So sometimes we do not need the variable also. Okay, good. Now we should move on. So this is the name name list. So uh, I have already teach you all the way. Uh, names are in the name list. And then if you print it, Faisal, Ali, Amir, and Khan. There's one more thing you should remember. In the list, you can put this value also. Like 100, like 121. We can do this also. Remember, in a list we can do, and not even that we can do this, we can do this also here. Now, if you print it, now you see, list can have characters, integers, and strings, everything, right? We have the cities, we have the countries. Now, we have, you may see, the conditions country. If somehow it will not match, it will break out. So, why did this Canada comes up? Because, okay, after Canada, if I put like uh, USA, okay, does USA will print or not? No, it will not print because till the here, here, if we run it, we actually reached. Okay, what did what we did here? We bring up the values in X and we print it, and then afterwards we check it. That's why we break it. It means after printing it, we check it. But if we say like this, control X 
And if we save this, now you may see, first we check it and then print it. That's why Canada didn't come up. But if I, we print it like this way, like we did here, it will come. But if I put USA, USA will come up or not? No, USA will not come up. Because, <coughs> because as <coughs> one second, <coughs> because as soon as, as it finds the Canada, it will break here and it will not print the USA. Let me run it for you. See, Canada is here, <coughs> right? Now comes to next code. Now see, this is a food checking. This is the banana checking. Let me run it for you one by one. Control enter. Now you see, it, it same as that. It, it checks the banana first and then it prints the value, right? Now let me take you to the typical code, right? Wow, this is the typical code. Hmm. This will, I will enjoy on this code. First of all, People will tell me, what does this mean? It is. It will show. It will bring up the multiplier or the remainder. Reminder. Yes, it will bring up the reminder. So in this way, we have declared the y as a range of one to twenty, means zero to twenty, and it will check the even value. Means, every, whatever the divide from two, it will give you zero like four, six, eight, ten, but it will continue. It means as soon as things will divide with the two, it will continue. So they will show you the odd values or the even values. They will show you the odd values because we are removing the even values. Okay, tell me one. Now, they, will it show the odd or the even? Amir? Apas, Apas, did you understood this thing? Because this is a bit typical, right? Yes, I know you 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 do have some problem with it. Okay, let me show you some basic on this one. I am going to remove this one. Suppose print x, suppose 10 divided by 2 and print 10 percentage of 2. Now look up us very carefully. When you divide 2, you will have the value 5. And you divide 10 with 2, you will have 0. But what if you divide it with 3? You will divide it three, that means three threes and nine. Then you will have here three. But if you divide three threes and nine, you will have one here as a reminder. Did you get it up? Yes, okay. Now listen carefully. In same scenario, X, Y is declared from 1 to 20. And this, it what it will do, it will divide the value that comes from upper and it will check the reminder. If it is one, right? Then they are even number. Those are even number. What if they are zero? then it will continue. That means it will skip the even number and brings the odd values. Upper, listen very carefully. Two will be divided by four. Four will be divided by two and reminder is zero. Then it will continue. Means it will not print the four, right? See, one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven. Did you get it? Okay, what if I say it's one? Now, that means 
it if you will divide three three with two you will have a remainder of one if you divide four five from two like two to the four and subtract it from five you have a remainder of one then it will skip that means it will skip three five seven nine eleven then it will print even number so you have a, a loop of even and odd right i hope you got it now further all are the okay these are the double check of the characters let me remove this way here and there's one more thing now you see whenever e and s comes up it will remove it in the previous loops we check on the only the one variable we did work on one uh, one condition but here we did work on e also means two variable that if latter inside this whole word if e and s it will skip the variable so the is gone Q U I C K B R O W N Fox jumps right over V E R R E is gone the T H E is gone lazy dog and S is gone right and jumps C S is not here J U M P see so this is the easy code and the letter now you can do this you can run this also oh, I don't think why this is here why this variable is here okay this is the list and this is the traversing this is the traversing and this is the traversing okay this is the range we have already learned okay one more thing in the range that is remain suppose i copy it here now listen very carefully range is five and we print it right now if range if i start range it from one it will print one two two three four okay <clears throat> this will print range 0 to 9 of the 10 values what if i put 1 here so that means it will start from 1 but what if i print 2 here this is the step this is the step this is the initialization and this is the range yes jump of two yes you are right this is the initialization this is uh, the range and this is the step right so that means if i put if i put 100 step of five and start it and don't give it any then what it will print no it will not print i will start it from zero now you see 5 10 11 12 15 because it will add 5 by 5 by 5 and other values what if i add 10 10 20 30 40 60 right upper did you get it Upper's? okay good one okay uh jumps uh, dictionary is working oh now last one the dictionary one is very very awkward and very fascinating what if I declare control V and control enter? So it will declare the key value. That means if you declare the dictionary default, it will print it will print the key, it will not print the values actually. To print up the values, you have to run this also. Right? Because you iterate through the values by defining the d on the k it will give you the values or oh, sorry keys but by defining the values it will give you the v the values but there is one more thing here which is very fascinating right this is the more fascinating and you will enjoy it more wow now we are iterating on these item one item is key value, second item is the key value, and third item is the key value. 
so we iterate on the items v is the value and k is the key so k is the key foo and then one and the bar second one is the key and the value the fascinating thing is that this d dot item will give you two values in a return because it is iterating on item by item but when you iterate on exactly in this way you are directly accessing the keys actually k work as a keys here but if you iterate on the values you will have only the values but what if i want to iterate on items all of them with the key and the values now you will you will have this result wow this is the fascinating okay but keep in mind i have all the collection separately on dictionaries is a, a huge code on the dictionary huge code on the list huge code on the python that, that will make you like a like nothing that your programming will become a water to you that you can drink it in your blood actually okay uh list item this is the list item this is the list item this is the list item okay this is okay this will be the this loop with if ss treatment we'll do it later on this is the range of the character wow this is this is another one well this is the last example i'm running out after this uh, i will uh, ask you the questions because we have done a lot of work here and i will show you some of the codes that what we are going to learn and and i will teach you the mac and what are the mac and how they work on so okay uh, this is the problem here okay we miss one comma here and Mm. Can anybody tell me what has happened here? What has happened here? Uh, let me tell you. Uh, fruits have length. Length one, two, three. So we find the fruits. We find the fruits. Its list length. And then we convert into range. Okay. Fruit is a list. We find the length and then we convert into range. It means x is 3, right? Which means x is 3. So index on x. Index on x means we are iterating on fruit one by one as giving them the index values. Index means the pointer indexer values. That's it. Nothing else okay why we are doing it too much in a strange way what if i do three here can we do it can you do it or not well what's that happened? no we cannot do it but can we do it in as a as a as a, as a range yes we can do it because we know this is three but if suppose foods have uh, 1000 length and we want to iterate on every word of that then we don't know what is it is so to find the length of of list you have to fight or run a length in it and then deliver a range and then it will become or it will ready to run for the for actually so this is the end uh, this is the uh, today's uh, class so i want you to tell me that uh, this is the uh, i don't think so this is too much fast but i try to cover up the maximum what i have done try to cover in the python basics and we have learned a lot of things in it how to run it and how to find the syntax and other things so kindly uh, just few remarks from uh, everybody first up us kindly speak up please still sorry yeah, I can hear you. Go ahead. I said the remarks that programming is not tough as you understand. No, it's good actually. Like I need to follow you and I need to work on it. So you are following it and running it as I have told you. So you, it's okay to to understand or you yes. need more. Uh, okay, done. Okay. So anybody's remarks except Apas. I hope it's clear. Wasim is already clear because we are moving very fast. 
towards a very typical coding, right? Because then I need to clear you the, uh, the list item, the dictionary, because, and then I need to, okay, what is my target? My target to take you people list, right? Functions and classes. That's it. List is very powerful function you know we use a def 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 we use a variable like a def and then we have already know the for the the if else right and then we know the dictionary and the list then i'll need you to take to the classes then at the end of the classes classes mean uh, not those classes that i'm teaching classes are the the part of the language actually so i need to cover this in four to five classes definitely so you can understand the codes very easily that i have already for you right so uh, if you want to go you can go if any remarks from your side then we will definitely meet tomorrow can you share the code text yes definitely i'll i'll i'll, I'll email to rahil bhai and rahil bhai will email to you everybody kindly send your email now here or if everybody has email to rahil bhai rahil bhai sabki email hai aapke paas you have the email of everybody yes. okay done uh, let me email to rahil bhai and rahil bhai email you uh, these two files the for loop okay so you want the list item or not okay there will be three files then the basics no 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 i will not send you all i will uh, go, go slow <laughs> i will not share all step by step i will share three files the basics the for loops and the lists okay Okay, Vaseem, uh, Vaseem, uh, I want some remarks from your side also. I hope that uh, since you are too much profession and you are too much experience on a lot of things, so things would be very good. No, 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 just not a great session. Just, just uh, great session, not really. What, what not really? Just have words on it. No, 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 no. Just, okay, come on the voice if you want to. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Clear. It was a good session. Yeah. To be honest. Okay. Okay. So. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I hope that uh, everybody just understood. Okay. This is the Jupiter notebook. Again, you people have to install the Anaconda. Apas you. Uh, Amir have already know. Alam, if you know the Alam. Alam, you have understood all of it. Okay. Good. Okay, uh, before uh, going to end the class, there is one glitch I need to tell you. Okay, uh, now bear with me. On on coming week, we will have class from Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay, from coming week. Everybody knows this. Yes, I do. Okay, good. If everybody, if everybody knows this, okay, uh, one hour or two hour. Well, uh, it depends upon the situation. Uh, I hope 1.5 hour is is enough, right? Because we have too much coding. And we want, we have too much understanding. Uh, initially, I will go with the two, 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 two hours because I need to teach you Python a lot. Then after um, six or seven classes, we will convert into one one hour, 1.5 hour yes every week four days yes Q, there will be a problem with one okay no problem okay uh listen people very carefully there is one announcement here from coming week we have thursday friday saturday okay uh tomorrow is a sunday right okay yeah listen listen first listen there is a glitch i have one commitment okay uh and if if before uh, pakistan uh, time uh, 3 or 340 uh, if i didn't have any commitment then there must be a class okay so before 2 hour you will you will be uh, or uh, you will be uh, i don't know rahil bhai will tell you 2 or 3 hour might be 6 hours before right that you will have a class by email or you will have your link actually then there's a 50 50 on the class but my 100 percent is effort that i will take tomorrow class okay there's a pressure on me from my family side further everything is okay i'm okay i'm great 
I think everybody's agree with it. I have no issue with it. Just tomorrow, just only for the tomorrow. Yes, all right. Me, yes. Uh, go ahead. Sorry. Yes, Apas, go ahead, please. Actually, can we create one WhatsApp group to communicate over there? Like, you know, that will be a great idea, right? Instead of communicating for each individual, a couple of people will not see the email properly, right? Done. Rahel Bhai, we created and it will it will add you and you can deliver uh, your numbers with Rahel Bhai and he will add you. Rahel Bhai, group bana dijiye currently Python cyber security ka. No issue. Uh, complete ho jayega. No okay. So it will be a 50-50 chance, but I am 100% guarantee. I will inform you before, but I this is my uh, whole effort that I will take the class. Otherwise, it's up to Allah. That uh, situation should not be happened. But from the coming week, keep in mind Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Right? Ready for that? Yeah. Okay. Take care, people. Ready, inshallah, at 11 PK time. <laughs> inshallah, let's see. Thursday to Sunday. Yes. For Thursday to Sunday. Yes. What will be the timing? Rizwan, yes, uh, same timing, 11. We will start from the 11, actually. I hope people don't have issue with this time. Professor, can you make it uh, earlier, like one hour earlier? It's possible. It's, I don't have any issue, but... You are actually uh, Wasim Bhai. You are Wasim Bhai who's talking, right? Yes. Okay, Wasim Bhai, actually the issue is that uh, people, since uh, you are there, but I don't know, it has been committed by everybody. Sorry, no, it's prayer time, right? So I have no, uh, it's been announced by Rahil Bhai, the timings, uh, and it's been finalized by the group discussion, actually. Ten to twelve would be good. Ten to twelve would be is okay. But Amir is not comfortable with ten to twelve, right? Amir? Because if it is ten here, your side will be yes no sorry no see amir have a prayer issue right he will have a because he is two hour back in saudi arabia right okay done finalize 11 to onwards uh thursday friday saturday sunday and tomorrow we'll see what will happen and then we will we'll inform you before take care everybody thanks for coming up and allah office thank you Adam. Allah Hafiz.